What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Nord Trades and today I bring you another special video, the Sunday Stock Watch List. So, first thing we're going to do uh, before we get into this video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, comment down below what other videos you would like to see, you know, what other stocks you want to see on a watch list. You know, I look uh, and, you know, I adjust things where, you know, even if I don't like the stock, maybe I'll talk about it. Uh, and any more information will be in the description below. Uh, the room setup is in is on the channel, so that's finally live. You guys have been waiting for that. In order to get the screen set up where you guys could see what's on my charts, uh, what's you know what do I have uh, on on each of my monitors, uh, we're like 50 likes away from the target. Uh, I also uploaded a live trade from last week, the Coinbase IPO. I think I, I racked up like 13,000 on that. But I was able to get that on footage for you guys and even uploaded it on YouTube as soon as I finished that trade. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into the video. Uh, the first thing is we always start off with the schedule. You guys can screenshot or even go to my trading page, Trey Like Nor. But it's always good to know what's going on this week. If we have anything important, uh, it may be Thursday, jobless claims. I don't see Powell speaking, uh, but it's good to have this. So that's the that's the schedule. Now here is the earnings. This is clearer than usual. Usually the earnings is blurry, but if you guys want to screenshot from here or go to Trade Like Nor, it'll be on Trade Like Nor regardless. Uh, but it's you know we got a crazy week ahead. We got IBM, we got United, we got Netflix. Uh, you know we have Verizon, Lam Research. That's a pretty big semiconductor. Uh, Spirit Airlines. We have Snap. We have Intel. We have Southwest reporting before the open Thursday. AT&T, American Express, it's a, it's crazy. We have, this is like the beginning and it's just crazy how, how we're gonna, uh, you know, how we're starting this off. Last week we had a few banks report. This week we have, we're, we're getting, you know, we're starting to heat up here. This isn't even the beginning. We don't even have Tesla reporting, Amazon, Apple, none of those big stocks reporting yet, but we're heating up big. We even have Coca-Cola reporting before the open on Monday. So, this shall be interesting. I can't wait to see what's going on. A lot of you guys love earnings. I do too because, you know, it creates opportunities. Not that you need to play earnings, but a few stocks that I do like looking at this are the airlines, right? I love United. I love Spirit. Uh, I love Southwest. I can tell you why, you know, everything's reopening. We got vaccines coming out. Uh, people are going to start traveling more. They feel more comfortable traveling. Miami's reopening everything. Their biggest clubs just open. Uh, and that's, you know, that's it. A lot of people go there, but, uh, you know, the biggest club just opened and people are, are traveling. Uh, as soon as 2021 hit, everybody's like, you know, enough is enough. We out. Um, what else do I like? I like Chipotle. Chipotle's rep uh, reporting. Uh, I like Chipotle. Lamb Research is reporting. Uh, what else do I like here? You know, Netflix, a lot of people are loving it. I'm not sure how I feel because... You know, the shows that everybody's waiting for aren't really coming out right now. They're coming out in the summer. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but let's get into the video real quick. Last week, we had a crazy, we had a, a bunch of crazy plays. Uh, we had the Amazon play into 3,400. Let me go five days back. So the 11th, I talked about 3,400 break on Amazon. We broke that went to 34.32. Roku, I talked about the wedge to the break to the upside. We killed that. That went all the way to 397. NVIDIA. Uh, yeah, NVIDIA. This is one of the biggest winners from last week. I talked about the 580 break into the break of five eight uh, 600. And that was going to lead us to a big rally. We got all the way up to 648 on Friday. Uh, Shopify. Did we get the 1235 break on Shopify? We did, and uh, the target was 1250. We got all the way up to 1250. I remember playing that, but I played it the day before. Um, we played the Shopify. I talked about Google. Guess where Google's at? 23, 22.99. We'll talk about that. And then Tesla. I talked about it last week. That I wasn't really seeing too much of it, but you know, it hit a high of 786. Oh wait, this is. The 11th, yeah, I did talk about Tesla. I talked about Google and Tesla. Uh, I was looking at the 717 area here for April 11th. You go back to the video. If we broke that, we were gonna rally. We broke all the way up to 786. I didn't get to catch the whole move because I was so focused on NVIDIA, but NVIDIA ended up you know, substituting uh, Tesla. But this week, I'm gonna keep it very simple. I talked about the earnings that I love this week. I'm looking at the 650 break for NVIDIA. Yes, the high was 648, 649. I'm looking at the 650 for the next uh, big rally here for NVIDIA. Simple. 
Uh, if you look at this on the big chart, we've been killing it. We're at all time highs. Uh, I know we had Bitcoin pull up, pull back over the weekend, but look at this. We killed that all time high at 615, and we've just been rallying since. So that's Nvidia. Uh, I had a crazy swing on Nvidia this week, actually. Not even counting the day trades. Google, I'm looking at the 2300 break. If we get the 2300 break, uh, this is gonna rally, especially if we get a you know a whole market push. Uh, airlines will lead us to that uh, if we if we if the airlines do kill it. So Google 2300, Amazon, Amazon. I'm looking at the th here. So look, five days we hit the 3432. I'm looking at the 3432 break. If we break that, I'm looking at 3450. If we break 3450, this is going to lead up to 3472. So that's the that's the targets for Amazon. If we do get back up there, we did hit high of. 34 32 but we took a big pullback so if we do get there we get there if we don't we don't uh shopify still looking at that high we made a high of 1253 i'm looking at the 1250 that was pre-market if we break 1250 i'm looking at this and this is a very nice push here so if you put this on the four hour right here so this is where we got stuck at uh we're actually we fell below 1200 but that was when we had the sell-off but we break 1250 i'm looking at 1280 and then from 1280 i'm looking at 1300 so we can get momentum on shopify we can this is gonna be a nice move but i don't like playing shopify too early you guys know when it's not doing anything it's literally not doing anything there don't touch it uh and i i stay away from it contracts suck because the spreads are so wide so i'm only playing shopify when it's on the move uh chipotle I talked about the earnings that I like this week. Chipotle is one of them. Uh, we're actually, if you look at this on the one year, we're actually at all-time highs. But for the trade, not the swing or anything or if this happens before. But if this breaks 1280, we're going to lead into 1600. If we break 1600, we have a nice run. You can see the top of the trend here. Going to finish off at like 1700. So if we do get a run pre-earnings or even after earnings, I'm looking at 1700 the top of this trend. So Chipotle is one of them. And then I talked about the airlines on why I love them and uh, what I'm looking at for those airlines. So you guys see what I have. The list is pretty small this week. Uh, we did have one of those pullbacks that kind of messed up the chart. So this is exactly what I'm looking at for this week. Comment down below. I want to know what you guys are looking at. So if you guys enjoyed that video, hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys. Peace.